welcome back. I think back to the times when I stood at the throne of life and death, played my game and made my peace. I was a force of nature then. The truth flowed through me, unchanged. Now, I am but a mortal. I find the world so full of friction. People are so much more pointed than truth. Do you think this offers a conclusion to your story? Regicide. Yet it has already been and gone. Oh my god, that's huge. Removing a figurehead is only the beginning of what is needed. General Flynn Hall has provided you with a secret route into the Emperor's Palace. Unfortunately, it takes you through the city's sewers. As you wait for the grand and mark of an entire civilization, the voice of the Hermit echoes once more in your mind. You must kill the Emperor, but that will change little. Kill one and another will take his place. Yet all of this will guide you to the place where you can make a real change. You are coming closer and closer to the moment when things are no longer determined by you. You take comfort in the presence of your companions and call one to your side. Oh, only four. Okay. I feel kind of... 
we trade? Because I don't have one for them. Estrella joins you. Although the sludge is uncritic, it does nothing to affect our commanding dominion. This source floor. Flood. We must find an exit as soon as possible. Beware the rising tides, for here they bear nothing but ill. You trip over some refuse in the source, so try not to look at it too closely. Or we can foot in the water continues to rise and Oh, I lost three, okay. The usurper managed this with hardly a kind word to a passerby. You seem to accumulate followers with every step. While passing through the smoky streets of Iron Dick, and this shall back and bounce into your bridge out. Please, they're after me! Cries pointing over his shoulder. Please help me! He opens his rucksack and just reaches the wind. Make it a very warm one. Just stop them chasing me. <laughs> the young man looks at the rain and looks at you. You look like a sneaky sword. It's not just a Let me just hold on to it until the job is done. Cow cowers in an alley and comes wild at the street behind you. Oh, I'm happy. You confront the workman who pursues the sword. You draw your weapon as a swarm of mischievous goblins surround you. High rank allies and family for her hanging by it, high treason, a lightning ramp, and the possibility for her Her pistol does much more damage. Now we fight Ooh. for honor. No, get back here. What is he? If your enemy is subdued, you return to the vagabond. You find him crawling behind a barrel, crunching an apple. It was so easy, he tricked me. He looks at the ring and then back at you again. He scowls and does still. Here, I guess you are in this. As a statue payment, the man scurries off down the street. Beneath the waters. Corrupted horrors rise from the sludge to surround you. Their, their approach masked by the nauseating purple of the sewer. Patience, do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think you can. No, you no, can actually. Think? We wouldn't get the name. Breathe, son. you have done well. Nibby dodged the launch in the attack of a crew with me. Not the rest. Stays.
on my mark. I don't think she does a lot more than I think <laughs> she does a lot less. Whoever these poor souls were before the blight, they still cling to the vestiges of the former life. Useful. Love the passage, so we're going up. You probably open the gate, but there's nothing more than dead end. It is dark, unpleasant, and unkind here, yet so is your quest. The sewer tunnel is blocked by piles of refuse. You can break it down, but it'll take time. I'll just try to help. There are pinpoints, a piece of rubble that is bearing the weight of the bucket and the little right out of a long and so the means for open as cooper to help. I'm so glad we have this. Wait, it doesn't concern our moves. As we fail, I guess. Clear the debris from the tunnel and are able to proceed. see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Again. Oh, that's... that's no, 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 no. God damn it. Yes, we do. Excellent. A wise decision. Uh, ask her to help. That will set you in good stead from here. Well, twelve is possible. <laughs> That where are you? Something glimmers in the murky, mucky water of the sewer. With some apprehension, I reach down to pick it up. It wasn't my choice, okay? You find a piece of equipment buried in debris on the sewer floor. Despite the stench, it appears to be in good working order. Maybe you'll let Mark have carry this one.
Luckily, it's not getting any harder. It just remains the same. Nicely timed. Well done. You continue to impress. You find the hatch marked with a bronze sun that signifies the way out of the sewers in the hatch. And so we reach out of the sewers and into the prisons, ascending one step at a time from the filth of the world with our eyes on the glory beyond. We emerge from the sewers into the cells of the past prison. The land's most reviled enemies rot here. The emperor unwilling to, or perhaps unable to end their misery with execution. The stroller service is surrounding. The courtyard to the emperor's chambers are just through that door. Prisoners are not allowed to roam here and must not be discovered. That's not that easy. We will need the keys from the jailer. We should be around here somewhere. Hateful as always. Death mages. They'll make a crypt out of anything. The fetter of the king flesh assaults your nostrils and turns your stomach. You have entered the makeshift lair of a necromancer. How only do I see such strength in this forsaken place? You would lead my army of the damned if you would just submit to my will. No, I won't, okay? No, no, I have much more important stuff to attend to. <laughs> Make a nice reveal, re reveal of seeing this land tipping everyone in the, into chaos. Get me back in. I keep. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't know. That stone. <laughs> The necromancer may have kept relics. I don't know really want to take anything that belongs to necromancer. It's filthy. Change my mind. Take an artifact from the death mage's corpse. information. It's a simple chest Maybe. may hold. The silk contains only a treasure chest held shut by a sturdy lock. We can risk trying to break it open for fear of threatening the guards before our presence. Okay. Not the keys to the kingdom, perhaps. But enough. The jail looks genuinely surprised to see him in his prison. What in the Emperor's name are you doing down here? Uh, please be in your keys. You attempt to persuade the jail to hand over his keys without bloodshed. I think we have sold down the pendulum. Damn it. Yep. 
breathe. The key. You have done well. Please. I'm not dying for this, you know? They're not, I'm not, you know, they're not lucky here with me. I'm not here, in here with them. Put your hands hold and bring the keys and things away. Sure. Okay, let's, let's swap a straw for... Oh, they don't... They, they do not... Mimic! Is at least one of the secrets. I knew it! While you fuss with the lock, an aisle blinks open on the chest. The lid yawns wide, revealing a roof rows of razor sharp teeth with two lashes onto your leg it's teeth piercing straight through your armor Alf. the door's key fits the lock and the door swings open the stairs out of the prison lead to the palace courtyard. Here we are, at the very edge of the seat of power. At least, the seat of power for this oh-so-mortal realm. The palace courtyard stretches out in front of you. Well, that seems some close to me. If this suicide mission has any hope of succeeding, we're going to need something from the Emperor's private collection. Strange traps. It is a sword. An ancient relic from before this land was won. My source is telling me it is here. What's wrong with what we've got? Redness says mentioning the full weapon. There ain't nothing in this land that can withstand my armor. But the not so me. The Emperor's evil warps and protects him. We cannot hope to stab the devil in the heart with a bucket knife. Stresses. I, I hear the Emperor spent a lot of gold in order to secure these relics. A straw appears from the corner. This place is teeming with guards. We can't risk open fighting in this part of the palace. We've surrounded before we got anywhere near the Emperor. If we sneak up on Patron Tales, we can take them out from a fight, but we must not be discovered. Okay. Better got slipping and slip past unnoticed. Guns plate. Who curses? Guns. Is it possible to get that first trap? Yep! It is. But we are losing something. No, it's it's anything because that's very cool thing. When we have the less the chances that we will lose our blood. We just lost our pillar, didn't we? Left. I need to 
get rid of this guy. Like, luckily we have... Look how does sneaking them. Okay. Wait, it changed. Is you to the archives and whispers. After the blade was stolen, they moved it down here. Such overconfidence, Mark says, searching for the sword. So many Finnish ways they could have hidden it, but it sits here among the dusty scripts and moved in the rags. It's almost as if they didn't expect a five person suicide mission to break it through the sewers and other male assassination emperor himself, adds Ariadne. But this is a fine blade, holding Martin drawing the sword from the grave. Again. <laughs> it's amazing. So the final door between you and the Emperor is before you. You arrive at the door to the Emperor's chamber. Enter. What surprises still lie before you? With all your might you force the oversized metal doors apart. Air hisses into the room as you crack the stubborn seal. The chamber that awaits is vast. Its outer riches lost in the golden blue. Remind yourself that not long, uh, uh, not long so ago you stood in this room as the Emperor's agent. Now you intend its execution to prohibit you. Malkax strides forward purposefully. Exclaiming, Is that it? I was expecting a welcoming party of a hundred armed guards. I've been working on a spell that could have blown them into a thousand pieces or a thousand frogs. Who can remember? But then kneels and examines from swapping his finger along the dusty floor. This is no full moon. This is a tomb. Mistrust tries into the room. It is time to make amends, she says for cool witted thief. Got Ariadne admiring them to open the door. Sorry, she says, shifting her arms from hand to hand. Once a blacksmith, always a blacksmith. From the darkness you hear a frog clear with calculated intent and the grip snaps to attention. Enter the chamber in search of the noisy source. It has been so long since I last entertained guests, the voice of Emperor has the cadence of closing coffin. I feel obliged to tell you, many assassins have attempted what you are undertaking, and as my presence attests, none have prevailed. My body may lack the vigor of its youth, but that matters little, my guards will dispense with the lot of you. Funny thing about subordinates, Marcus says, they have a habit of being a bit dead. Temperamental, I should know. I fell as one of my entire life. In the pitch black, you hear a ruffling as the Emperor's standing. It strains to look for his royal guard. He press on into the chamber and spy the Emperor perched atop his throne. His frail body is clad in armor spoiled with faded majesty. While entertaining, Hubris has become tiresome. The genuity has left the Emperor's voice. His pale face rests lopsided on his shoulder, as if he lacks the strength to lift it. I am Emperor Alec, fourth of my line as sover sovereign protector of the realm. Among coarser company, I am Alec the Bloody, Scalebreaker and Mage Scrout. 
After all that, you believe you could kill me? A petty mercenary leading a broken mage, a disviled barbarian, a treacherous officer, and a blacksmith? The Emperor scoffs. A death. A death that sets in motion every moment to come. A death that leads you inevitably here. The Emperor's throne sits atop a massive marble dais. Your target awaits patiently, five steps away. Malclep climbs the first step and the rest of the party falls suit. Of course, Your Excellency will have protected oneself from mortal threats such as blades. Goldbrun flings one of his blades as at the Emperor. Sharp and knee keening, it slices through the air and bounces off his armor with a sizzle that shatters magic magical protection. Malclep climbs the next step. And from gunfire! Ezra raises her pistol and fires as at the Emperor's heart. It flinches but remains unharmed. And of course, the petty tricks of a mage has a eye. The Malachite takes the first step and unleashes a volley of magic missiles. The sorcerer's bolts fizzle and dissipate against the Emperor, who he is at the entire side. Enough of your nuisance! Malachite raises a finger to interrupt, stepping ever closer. Of course, any blade powerful enough to wound you, you would have found and knocked away, he doesn't say. In fact, you'd have kept it right here in a palace, would you not, to ensure no one could ever study it or understand its true power. If it was ever stolen by thieves, you would have hired arms of mercenaries to scour the lands for its return, surely? The party reaches the top of the stairs and approaches the forum. Ariadne draws her sacred sword and the Emperor's eyes grow wide with fear. The old man searches desperately for an escape as you and your four companions gather around him. Malachite presses the tip of the sword to the Emperor's heart, for the people will haunt it like animals. Goldblum draws his hand in the blade, with the family storm apart. Estra grasps the pommel of the blade. For the good people, you corrupted! Ariadne's large fist encompasses the blade's grip. For the devastation you reign upon the helpless! As one you thrust the blade at the Emperor's heart. The extra legs together have increased the blade's power. What the f Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Dark energies from the Emperor's Arcane Shields course through you. Sparks fly as the blade pierces the Emperor's magical bar and plunges into his chest. A burst of white light temporarily blinds you. A horrible screaming echoes around the throne room and then it is all over. The white light fades. The noise and pyrotechnics have alerted the guards to your presence. They gasp at the sight of the Emperor's limp corpse, a sword buried deep in his sunken chest. The Emperor! A knight shouts behind him. Toll the bell! They have killed the Emperor! Of course we did, but I have a bad feeling that this is not the way we were supposed to kill. A wall of steel to protect the Emperor. I kill okay.
told the Emperor that he expected to feel triumphant, yet now you feel nothing but dread. You see the same realization grow, dawning in the companion's faces. Nothing will change. The voice of the hermit rings forth once more. These cards were played before your arrival. Your fate determined well in advance. Yet soon you will reach a place beyond even my can. Find the dealer, learn his game, and you may yet change the course of this land. Now run! So the Emperor lies dead, but what now changes? The game is still afoot, and time ticks on unceasing. I'm just trying to all the way to Night Town. So your story winds to a close. The serpent meets his own tail, and we will soon come face to face with the usurper. Are you prepared? It yeah. almost matters not now. Yeah, for now, that goes so well. Well, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.